Fabulous. Now, um, ah, slightly, uh, slightly connected. Um, this is from Roman in Russia. Um, Simon, on the last radio show, I asked you about the meaning of human eye color, and your answer was about elite's attitude towards people with different eye colors. Could you please reply again, but from another perspective, which is the perspective of the soul's cosmic origin, which constellation the color is typical to, and thus character traits of the human this soul inhabits. For example, people with green eyes seem to be connected with reptilians that mostly come from Orion, and such people might be more inclined to lead and control other people. That, that's, is, 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 uh, that's the soul. Little, uh, okay. Idea. So yeah, there we go. Eyes. Okay, I'm 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 happy to do that, but I don't want my answer to be used for witch hunting. I don't want my answer to lead to somebody saying, "Well, I'm not going to talk to that person because their eyes are this colour." Um, we do have to be incredibly careful. Um, you know, <laughs> the, the word reptilian has received a terrible press, rightly so. Uh, if you understand certain aspects of it. But wrongly so, if we uh, hit everybody with the same label. Uh, I will remind people that if you have a reptilian soul, that you have consciously chosen to support the human race, to fight with the human race, to be part of the human race, and to believe in the outcome as a positive for the human race, it doesn't matter what your soul is, you, you are chosen to be good. I mean, I know there, there are Palladian people, according to you know, most writers, anyone who's Palladian is, is wonderful and fantastic. But there are many Palladians who are evil. So we must be careful not to make a decision because the way someone's eye colour is, or the accent, or their skin colour, or the way they dress, or the car they drive. Okay, that's mine my entry warning there. If you're from the sixth dimension, uh, Lyra, I would expect you to have brown eyes. If you're from any of the fifth dimension, you're predominantly going to have blue eyes. If you're from the fourth dimension and you are a human type creature, you will have brown eyes. The green eyes, something that occurred um, off planet, but was extensively uh, genetically engineered on Earth when the mixed fourth dimensional energy, um, I'll have to explain a little bit. Places like ancient Egypt, Babylon, Sumeria, these were enclaves of fourth dimensional power. This is a third dimensional Earth. The Earth doesn't actually like fourth dimensional energy. Why would it? It likes fifth dimension and higher. The fourth dimension is uh, an adversary to the third, but nevertheless, it was created by source. It does exist, and it can live in harmony, providing the fourth energy doesn't wish to expand. The difficulty is that fourth dimensional energy has a number of elements to it, which we give labels to. So this is just an energy, but we will call it Satanism. But I don't see it as Satanism. I see it as a spike of energy coming off the main flow of energy, which is evil, simply because when that energy acts upon um, a, a human mind or a part human mind, for reasons I don't understand, I don't understand it because I'm not God and I'll never be God, but when it acts on a human mind, <coughs> it, <coughs> it does something to that human mind and, and flips the mind up. So that part of that mind becomes, for want of a better word, evil. You could take a, <coughs> excuse me, perfectly decent guy, expose him to fourth dimensional energy, uh, wrap it up in rituals, and uh, you then have a devotee to Satan, or you have a devotee to a Masonic lodge, or you have a devotee to this, that, and the other. So it's not the energy per se that's evil. The spike of energy when acting on a human can cause that. Now, the, 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 the people who are responsible for all this understood that. So when they, they wanted to create places like ancient Egypt, <clears throat> Sumeria, Babylon, they took this fourth dimensional energy and they crafted it. They were able to use it like a potter. He or she will make a, a on a potter's wheel, will make a, a, a vase or, a, or a whatever. 
and they could do the same. They could craft this energy by altering its frequency, altering its sound waves, its color, so that when it affected a human, a human was drawn down this particular road. And they understood that. And so they created things and they stuck it on money. That's why money is the way it is, because the whole concept of money has this a fourth dimensional spell, a spike of energy, which um, is, is, is like chocolate. It's like... Uh, they call it a moth to the flame. It is something that draws people who are not guarded against it. And so we have a situation where those people who a very, very long time ago were involved in some methodology of power develop green eyes. Green eyes are associated with fourth dimensional energy. But, but just because a person has green eyes doesn't mean they are evil or a black magician. It means God knows, 20,000 years, 26,000, 100,000 years ago, that soul in that body inhabited a body that had responsibility and power within a controlled fourth dimensional um, remit. And so that, that sticks. <clears throat> it's very hard for someone with green eyes to change the green eyes. It's much easier for them to change their belief systems um, and to go from the dark to the light. And remember that official statistics roughly say that of the entire population of the planet Earth, and I don't know how many billions there are, between 1.8 and 2.2% of the population have green eyes. Well, that really brings it home to you. So if we, if we just went on the top end and we said about 2% of the entire population of the planet, only 2% have green eyes, and you begin to understand that this was seen as an elite trait uh, and given out to these people who had that, that connection. So I hope that helps with the answer. Thank you. Very. I'm going to add my uh, little two-cent commentary into what Simon said about, uh, about different eye color associated with what extraterrestrial races. I just find it interesting that he would say that people with brown eyes he started with brown eyes first, associated or their genetic origin would be six-dimensional lyrans. I have never heard a contactee ever said the lyrans were black, and I'm black. So I think that's interesting. He also said that uh, uh, there are humanoids that are uh, from the fourth dimension that also have brown eyes. You know... So, are you trying to say that the Africans and everybody else that have brown eyes are from either the 6th or the 4th dimension? You know, I hope that uh, I contact you in the future uh, breaks that down even further. I would love to hear more about that. Because uh, that, that I've, ne I've never heard anyone bring that up before. So, that, that, that's intriguing. Signing off.